Hi guys, in this video, I'm just going to show you how you can insert multiple Google Docs into another Google Doc, all right? So, so let's get started. So in your Google Doc like this, I've created a, a sample document here where we can uh, insert uh, different Google Docs, uh, child Google Docs, and then I've also created a bunch of child Google Docs that we can use as an example to insert into the original document, all right? So how do you do this? So you can use my um, insert docs for Google Docs uh, uh, add-on or extension, or uh, it, this is a Google Doc extension to insert the document. So how do you uh, access this? So basically you can uh, first, install it if you don't have it yet. Add-ons and get add-ons here. And then you can go to the search bar here and then type in insert docs, you know, for Google Docs. So this is the one. So when you click that, it's going to show up this one. And then when you click this one, you know, you will see a slightly different screen wherein the install button is right here. So you can click install and then it will ask you for authorization, etc. All right. So that's how the one way to in install this particular add-on the other way is you can go to google workspace marketplace and then you can you know it's kind of almost the same screen so you can type insert box here and then pick this one and then you will see this screen and then do the same thing right so once you do that you will need to refresh your your google docs to see this menu items all right so yeah so that's how you install it so let's get started with inserting a sample a sample google doc all right so let me show you so first of all, it's going to open up when you go to extensions, insert docs, Google docs, and then you do insert Google docs, it will show you this particular sidebar. All right. So the other thing is um, what the step one here is basically to position your cursor where you want to insert the files. All right. So, so let's say I want to insert here where the text here is. So let's say I want to insert it above this text. So, and then the next step is to add files from drive. All right. So let's do that. So add more files. All right. So I'll type in insert docs. All right. So I created a, a bunch of it, which is this one and this one. All right. So let's add those two here. Select. All right. So you can remove them, or if you pick the wrong one, you can remove them. So I'll, for now, I'll add them as thing, but you can add them as content as well. But for now, let's do the links and then I'll rearrange them. So yeah, so let's say right now it says what the one first and then the test two second, right? So what I want to do is just reorder them. I will delete that and then reorder them. Put the two first, all right? So that's it. So I want to import this. So let me just in insert those two. Import, all right. So now it's going to process the document. So it's going to load up your uh, if you have your settings, it's going to load all the settings and it's going to show you what it, it has already inserted. All right, so it inserted the second one as well. So we're done now and then let's take a look. All right, so so as you can see here, it inserted the, the second document and then the first document, which is the order we wanted. And this also shows you that it will preserve the uh, headings. You know, let's say you have a heading two here and here. So yeah, so those, and then this is heading one. And then it also preserves the, the bullets as well as let's say if there's a underline, bold, italic, or different color. And then it will also import the images here, kind of like this one, all right? Yeah, so that's how you do it. Uh, the limitation is that uh, it cannot insert uh, a table of content. So you need to put that in the original file as well as inline drawings. So those are the two limitations right now. So the other thing is, um, right now I didn't import import the comments. So like this one, I have comments here, but it didn't import. So let me show you how you can do that. All right. So let me just uh, do a Control Z to return back to this original one. So here under the extension Insert Docs for Google Docs, there's a settings here. You can click settings, and then here I can actually specify, you know. Uh, uh, that I want to import the comments, right? So import the comments and then let, maybe I also want uh, to output a different file, a new file. So let's say uh, original cop copy 
original copy. Yes, all right, so that one. And then let's say I want to output it to a different drive folder. I can do that too, so that I can change output folder. None is specified right now, so let me see. So this is the, the document. Uh, I'm gonna put it in, in the output files, right here. So let me go back. So I'm just gonna select this folder here. All right, so that's the output files. So let me just open it up also. It's empty, all right, that's perfect. So this one, if I have table of contents and inline drawings and I wanna put them in my original file, you can click this one. And then you need to specify what your original file name is. But we're not gonna do that right now, uh, but we're just gonna test all of this tree, all right? So let's save the settings. All right, so it's saved successfully. Let me just reopen that up to see if it's correctly saved. All right, looks good. All right, so let's do that. So this time it's not gonna touch the original file, but it's gonna output it to a different file and it's gonna show up after you do this. All right. All right, so it's processing. So yeah, so it's done processing the second document. You can also look at your, your output file. It's gonna be here when you do a refresh. Yeah, it's gonna be here. Uh, so yeah, so now it's done. We can open the new file. And the, ori the new file name is original copy test. And then as you can see here, this is the heading two. And it copied over the, it imported all the comments as well. All right, so this one is the heading one. All right, so as you can see, the only main thing that, you know, that might be a cause for concern is that when you're when you create a new file right and you're importing the comments it cannot take in the original the original uh, users uh, post here it cannot take that in because uh, you know Google doesn't allow that so it will just say you know the name comment by and then what date and then reply by and what date and then reply by what date all right and then whatever the comments are so that's how how it's done uh, the, for the comments. Yeah. Um, and we also put that in the kind of like the uh, destination uh, drive folder. All right. So yeah, so that's how you use the app. Uh, if you have any questions, feel free to put your comments uh, or your questions in the comments below. And also be sure to check the, uh, the description field because uh, Let's say there would be updates in the future. I will definitely put it in there. You know, if there's any updates like new features, etc. So it will be linked, you know, just in case you see this video and you didn't see the uh, new updates. All right. So I'll put it in there. All right. So yeah, so that's it. If you like this video, consider liking. Uh, so the next time we upload uh, you know, a similar video, you'll see them. All right. Thank you and have a good day. Bye now.